Box Tunnel, Wiltshire. And I didn't know the train was coming and entering the famous western portal at Box Tunnel, adjacent to the busy A4. This tunnel was constructed between 1836 and 1841 in hellish conditions. Brunel's line was approaching Box, the village of Box, two miles of high embankment, three miles of deep cuttings all the way from Chippenham. And he had to bore a hole through 1.9 miles of hills and everybody in his day thought it was an engineering feat too far. 3,201 yards and between London and Bristol this part of the line would have the steepest gradient descending to Bath in one in 100. And the skeptics of the day had another filled day with Brunel being in front of his time or pushing technology to the limits and going beyond tech the known technology of the day. People hypothesized the deafening noise would be shaking the nerves of every human being if two trains met inside the tunnel. And they would never want to experience it again. And then an academic said, what happens if the brakes fell going westward to Bath? The train would leave the tunnel at a staggering 120 miles an hour and everybody would suffocate. To build this tunnel, Brunel had to sink eight shafts between 70 and 300 feet. One of the shafts was in the cutting here because it was sunk before the cutting was made. And each shaft was the entry and exit points for all the workers. And when they descended, they just hopefully worked out that their work would link up with the next group of navvies who were working from the, the other shafts. And just think of the noise, all the clankering of the hammers and axes against the rock and the blue clay in the hellish conditions because the only ventilation was from those deep shafts. And you had to import and export all your tools, materials and rock and clay that you wanted to excavate up through the shafts. And every week there was a ton of gunpowder and candles used. And during the excavation, about a hundred navvies died. Brunel was looked upon as being callous by some folk during a parliamentary scrutiny of the loss of lives. He did say the losses could be a lot worse. But Brunel was highly respected by his workers and he obviously had to respect them because when the tunnel opened or I should say that when the, the links were made so the tunnel was lined up and virtually complete Brunel was so excited and respectful that he took off his gold ring and he gave it to one of the foremen that was standing next to him once this tunnel was open, this was the last link that was excavated to link the line between Bristol and London. So here was the most major obstacle on the line. As I've done videos from Hanwell, Sonning, Maidenhead, showing the major obstacles between London and Bristol. But this was the most massive of them all. So massive that this was the world's longest tunnel. And when the trains came through, going slightly downhill towards Bath, 
Brunel was right. No train would be going at 120 miles an hour if the brakes fell because the academics had failed to take into account wind resistance. So this is a magnificent, monumental feat of achievement. I've been here three times this year and today the light is right. I've got here later in the day, but this time I've arrived later compared to last time. The sun's out, the western portal is on full display and Brunel paradoxically added grandeur to all his western portals of his tunnels. Ironically, this is a paradox because apart from this portal at Box, all the other tunnels that I've seen and scrambled to through undergrowth, I'm one of the few people who've seen these portals, such as north of Brislington. Even the locals hadn't seen the portals there of a tunnel which is about three quarters of a mile long. So only the train drivers are able to see the lavish designs of the Tudor architecture of the towers either side of the arches that adorn Brunel's portals. But this is the major tunnel, I think it's the only portal you can see in its entirety from a legal position where you're not trespassing and taking your life into realms of risk by climbing fences and hacking your way down through steep embankments and chopping down stinging nettles, avoiding holly, brambles. So this is a very convenient way to see the best portal between London and Bristol on God's wonderful railway, otherwise widely known as the Great Western, which has been in evidence since 1833.